Hey guys, this is Francis. I wanted to talk about my story. First of all, I am a nutrition coach and also uh, an actor. And I, growing up, I, I was always athletic. Also, I made a lot of friends growing up. Didn't have trouble whatsoever making friends. I played hockey. Uh, still to this day, some of my best friends uh, were from playing hockey. And, you know, I started working out more seriously around the age of 16, doing P90X in my basement, you know, with the hopes of, of getting girls, you know, so to speak, you know. And I got, I got in great shape out of it. Uh, for sure and you know high school was coming to an end and um, I had a strong interest for being an actor like I've always loved watching films and some of them really impacted me some sometimes for weeks uh, I was thinking about the film and I, I almost felt you know you know when you feel in almost this depressed state after watching an amazing movie and you're wondering about what life is about and and it's like going back to the real world after watching this movie feels so weird but amazing at the same time and i wanted to bring this feeling to to other people and you know tell stories and you know as some of you may have uh may have had in the past where you know you had this conversation with your parents wanting to be an actor and basically they they reject the idea you know it's unrealistic there's no money to be made especially where you live now you don't have money to go anywhere else you know it's expensive in big cities and so on you're too young and blah 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 so since i loved you know sports and working out kinesiology felt realistic at the time and you know i, I did all my university years you know experience partying love heartbreak meet new friends uh, you know, and living away, uh, living without your parents. Yeah, it was an interesting experience and I, I had great memories from it. And if we circle back to heartbreak, this is where, um, yeah, my life was rough at that time. And, you know, what felt realistic at the time, because, you know, due to time and financial commitment, uh, with the university and so on, it felt realistic that I could better myself through transforming my body even more. So I blew even more steam uh, off in the gym. I was tracking my lifts, my nutrition, and you know, realizing that I, I was just not eating enough. And and from then on, guys, as soon as I started, you know, uh, working on my nutrition more my results skyrocketed in the span of six months and you know my confidence grew i i felt like i i felt more respect coming from from both men and you know women was more were more attracted to me and you know i my dating life improved and also my circle of friends and overall life felt great and when i graduated i, I became a, a trainer got great experience out of it but it didn't feel fulfilling for for me at the time because it wasn't the de demographic I, I was hoping to work with and there was a lot of unpaid hours and for me you know just about every other job I had working for from for somebody I don't know I, it just didn't feel good to me it's like I I wanted something more something more uh, you know, and I've tried a lot of stuff. I tried uh, online, trying to make money online through drop shipping and selling stuff online. And, you know, ads were expensive. So I ran out of money eventually and I had to come up with another job because I wasn't in deep trouble. So I, I came across this job um, where the turnover, the turnover rates were insane, but uh, the salary was quite uh, interesting. And you probably guessed it, I took a door-to-door -door, uh, sales job. And long story short, after the span of, you know, three, four months, I became one of the top salesmen in Atlantic Canada for that company. And there was a lot of rejection, guys, uh, in this process. Uh, and that really built my mental toughness. And in the middle of my shift, in one of my shifts, uh, Way, way, way uh, in the past when I was in university, I, I left my email address to one of the film schools that I was interested in. 
and they probably kept my my number and to be honest with you guys the, the dream kind of faded because i was doing well with this door to door door sales job and i was busy and my mind was kind of off uh of pursuing acting and i almost hung up on them but you know slowly they started bringing that fire back and convinced me to to get into a, a second meeting with them to know more about the program and potentially enrolled for an audition so i did that and yeah next thing you know i you know i made so much money for my sales job and i decided to give it a shot i auditioned i got in i give my notice right after and a couple months i was from new brunswick to toronto and i was doing it i was pursuing my acting career I graduated uh, last uh, two years now ago in, in 2021. I'm still pursuing acting to this day. I've done many short films. I've done a couple uh, leads in independent features. Uh, but right now I I'm back in New Brunswick. Uh, I want to go back uh, probably in, you know this this summer. Maybe not Toronto. Maybe Toronto. Maybe not. Maybe another city. But right now nutrition coaching is taking a big chunk of my time because I'm, I'm hoping to be more financially independent and have this this business with me following me around so that you know I can follow acting at a hundred percent and I think that's a big problem guys uh, you guys are, are facing you know as actors you know having a job that fulfills you but that doesn't take too much time away from from your acting and we're all facing these challenges guys where financially it's it's hard it, it can be tough you know it's you can do 40 hours a week and make a decent living, but you don't have time for acting or you can have a part-time job and, you know, juggling with these two things can be hard to, to manage, you know. Uh, and it's tough on the ego as well because you're maybe perhaps you're not booking as much uh, year after year and, you know, you're, you're working part-time hours still, but you're not booking much. So you're kind of facing this dilemma where should I just be working more? or should I double down on my acting and, and keep working part-time and so on. So it's, it's a lot of things to, to process. But for me, guys, the biggest difference I think was the confidence, the gym, uh, and the nutrition brought me, and also the mental toughness I got from my door-to-door -door sales job. I mean, acting is tough. You have to be mentally strong, confident, charismatic, and you know, solve problems quickly and gotta think quickly on your feet and if your mind is all foggy you know from through bad nutrition bad habits you know drugs being anxious all the time and so on these are all correlated to nutrition and perhaps this is a problem you're not realizing and i believe today guys nutrition and fitness is the best tool for an actor the craft and all that is great but if if you, if you're not at 100% through nutrition and fitness, all of your training, your techniques, you might as well throw them out the window. Because everything in life starts with you. And perhaps you want a lead role where it requires for you to have a more muscular and lean physique. I'm not saying all roles are like that. But typically, any leading roles that require a strong presence, require for you to look great on camera and have you know key muscles you know and especially in the close-up you know it's there's a lot of strategy behind that as well guys and i'm assuming you want to look your best on camera because this ultimately affects your confidence how you feel about yourself and everything that is you know released is living forever and you know or you might be typecast as the the funny guy or funny girl or so on or or maybe you're fatter and you know you're you fit more into the comedy side of things maybe you want to be taken more seriously and you want to uh, you want to transform physically so that you can be taken more seriously so there's a whole set of problems not only on the physical side but the mental side that nutrition and fitness can solve in your acting career and I truly believe that by empowering you to be the best version of yourself you will put yourself in a much better position to be a successful working actor. And yeah, guys, my message is that everything starts with you 
and I wanted to share with you my story, how I, I came to be an actor and a nutrition coach. I understand the business side. I understand that there's a gap with somebody's level of performance and how they feel about themselves. And the gap literally is to improve yourself physically and mentally through nutrition and fitness. So that's my story. Stay tuned, guys. I'm going to talk about the top three pains that actors are facing in relation to their careers and life. And also, I'm going to be sharing the top three solutions that you can start implementing as soon as possible so that you can not only get into the best shape as you can, and all, but also you know, setting your career up for success. So stay tuned. It was great catching up.